Hey there kids, it's me, Safari Sam, and today we're back with another kicking. Whatever the hell this is supposed to be. We've got more mineral shit for all of you today. Today we are looking at pyrite, more commonly known as fool's gold. I'm sure you've all seen pyrite like at some point. Uh, and if you haven't, well today's your lucky day. Because we've got a blurry specimen right here for you. Let's see if we can focus that up. That's right. Good job. This camera operator was worth every goddamn cent. Now, I think it's pretty clear why pyrite would be confused with gold. You know, it's got that kind of metallic luster. It's got that, you know, yellowy coloration. But uh, pyrite is actually, you know, made of iron sulfide. And iron yeah uh, <laughs> that was a dumb thing to say right hey moron yeah you 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 wrote these fucking note cards right all right listen up motherfucker iron sulfide and iron iron is in iron sulfide yeah I just happen to know that iron makes up 44.6% of iron sulfide, and sulfur makes up 53.4% of, you guessed it, iron sulfide. Yeah. Iron sulfide is made up of iron and sulfur. Do your fucking research. I know more about nature than you. Yeah, so, pyrite is iron sulfide, uh, which is kind of half iron and half sulfur, a little more sulfur, but you see here's the thing, uh, I'm not really the biggest expert on rocks and I'm really not the biggest expert on iron, but that's probably mostly because my doctor says there's basically no iron in my blood, I don't know, but I'm, once again I'm a zoologist, but they're making me do rocks, I know it doesn't make sense, but you know. So this is pretty frequently found in kind of a crystallized form and in striated cubes. You know, am I pronouncing that right? Striated? Who cares? Nobody cares. But yeah, during the gold rush specifically, this was often mistaken for gold. And that's, you know, the main place it got its name was during the Great American Gold Rush. People called it fool's gold because people kept mistaking it for gold. No one really does that as much these days because fool's gold is like a pretty well-known mineral. Specifically because of that reason. Huh. But you want to hear... Do you want to hear the ironic thing? Pyrite is actually frequently rich in gold values and is probably an important ore of gold. <laughs> So it kind of is sort of gold, but not really. It's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. This specimen actually specifically comes from Peru. And I know that because I obtained it there myself. I was with a geological research team. Uh, I've been on a couple geological research teams despite being a zo zo zoologist. Specifically because they want, like, me to watch out and help them uh, not affect the environment too much. That's kind of my job. I used to do that on geological dig sites all the time. I would be like, hey, uh, this is what the native animals are like. And this is how we have to behave and what you are and aren't allowed to do to the environment here to retrieve specimens. Because we don't want to affect these animals. So yeah, I was kind of a consultant, really. But, you know, I helped dig. So while we were digging, I... I came upon a bunch of fucking... pyrite. And... I kind of mistook it for gold. I did. I really did. And I kind of made an ass of myself. Once again, I'm not a fucking geologist. I'm a zoologist. This is not my wheelhouse. Right? That's why I got these shitty note cards that were prepared by a fucking dumbass. But, I kind of went 
a little crazy. Uh, started digging up as much pyrite as I could, just feeling my fucking cargo shorts with it. And uh, just absolutely, kind of physically and emotionally abusing the geologist. I was like, oh, I got gold, you dumb cucks. I don't have to do your stupid consultant job anymore. Uh, I'm a rich bitch. I'm gonna get all the fucking poon. And then they all saw that I had pyrite. And they were like, hey, dumbass. That's not gold. You are a fool. For that is fool's gold. And they all kind of laughed at me and started chucking rocks at me. And some of them were like, Look, we found pow fucking pyrite hours ago. And they just started chucking the pyrite at me. Yeah, so I ran off and I kind of fell down a hill, rolled down. And, you know, by the time I got back to town, this is all the pyrite that was left in my pockets. Just this little tiny bit, so, you know. At least I got something out of that dig, because they absolutely did not pay me. I was actually stuck in Peru for several months. Uh, I could not get out of the country. I couldn't afford it, because they didn't pay me or take me back with them. So, uh, you know, I had to do a lot of stuff in alleys to get out of there. A lot of stuff. Gay stuff. But, yeah, that is it for pyrite. It's... A very interesting mineral, you know, I feel like a lot of people have a specimen of pyrite just because it's a funny thing to have. You know, it looks like gold but isn't gold. You know, it's like wearing fucking fake Yeezys, but for a geologist, I don't know. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, all that shit. Most of our announcements are on Twitter these days. But, you know, if you really want the scoop before anyone else, because announcements are posted onto Patreon before anything else, and Patreon gets a lot of exclusive stuff, too, that you're just not going to get. Like, I often post a picture of the specimens that we're going to do in the future on Patreon and things, because, you know, that's just a perk that you can get there. You can know what specimens are upcoming, what the future episodes are going to be. Not all of them, but some of them. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. I'll see you all next time. I, uh... Hey, does anyone want to buy this off me? Uh, it's genuine gold. You know, you'll be rich. I just, I'm, I'm a little desperate, so I'm willing to sell it for less than it's worth. You know, any, any... What about you, best boy?